much to the disgust of um, many, I'm still here, still very much alive and kicking. Um, and I know that probably pisses off quite a lot of people, judging by the, uh, the number of abusive messages that I'm still receiving from people I've never met, which is uh, makes you wonder if people you've never met can't stand you, what people who have met you genuinely think of you. But anyway, what I wanted to do on this vlog today is a plea for people to try and be kinder and nice to each other. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I've done to have deserved the huge amount of abuse I've received on social media over the past four or five weeks. Um, but it has been relentless. It has been absolutely relentless. Just over five weeks ago, a woman who I went to school with over 25 years ago and who I've seen three or four times since decided to post a series of uh, lies about me on social media and she's adopted a number of photographs that she had screenshotted from social media and added a bit of text to it um, and then posted these in various different groups. I'm not sure what the intent behind it is, neither are the, the police who are, who are still investigating it, no one's really sure what she's been trying to achieve from it and, and what her motivation was. Um, but anyway, she did it, and hundreds of people jumped on a bandwagon of sending me abuse. Um, they managed to find my mother on Facebook and sent her abuse, which on, again is just bizarre. Um, and the abuse was, was really vile and venomous and unnecessary. Fortunately, I've got um, incredibly thick, thick skin and quite broad shoulders, but after a time, you do wonder, you, you do wonder about people. You do wonder about people on social media, I mean, the, the one thing that I've discovered over the last five weeks is that social media is, is occupied by absolute fucktons with absolutely no moral compass whatsoever. And it's quite worrying that these people are allowed to participate in society in any form, in any shape or form. Um, I'm sure if they were face to face, only a small minority of them would be prepared to say to me what they've said to me um, by the anonymity of a keyboard. But anyway, I've got a plea really, and the plea is, to please reserve judgment about me until you've met me. Reserve judgment about me until you've spoken to me or dealt with me. If after you've met me and spoken to me and done something you know, together, we've done something together, you, you think I'm a cock, fine. That's a valid opinion that you may have formed. But don't form an opinion about me based on something you've read which may or may not be true. Don't form an opinion based on hearsay, rumour and gossip. I mean, that's surely what we did in the playground when we were six and seven, or such and such said. Is that really how we, how we engage as adults? By believing hearsay and rumour and not how someone treats and speaks to you? If I've spoken to somebody with disrespect and they don't like me, that, that's perfectly valid. If somebody else witnesses the way that I've dealt with people and they don't like it, that's a valid opinion to have. But to have never met me, to have never spoken to me, and to form an opinion based on something that you've read that may or may not be true says far more about your lack of intelligence than mine. It says far more about your character than it does mine. And it says far more about your judgmental persona than it, it, it does says anything about me, to be perfectly honest. And I'd rather not have any people like that in, in my life. As a result of what happened five weeks ago, I probably it was probably a useful decision. It's meant that I've had to remove quite a few fake people um, from my wide circle of acquaintances, the friend group was always quite friendship group was always quite small and has stayed quite small. But the wide group of associates and acquaintances I had has become very much smaller. Um, I think I had a cull of about fifty or sixty percent of contacts on Facebook and a similar number on Instagram, whilst also locking all the privacy settings um, down. But people are still finding innovative ways of, of uh, sending me messages. Um, including today, which is um, which I posted about earlier. So I was fed up with typing posts, so I thought I'd sort of do a verbal plea to say, um, I will never, I will never prove I'm not something. You are uh, innocent until proven guilty. So um, I am not in the habit of proving or disproving somebody else's um, thoughts or rumours or gossip or a post that they provide about me. It's just, it's not my style and it's not what I've done and it's not what I'm going to start doing. Nor is it how the real world or my world work. So if somebody says that I am something, I'm not going to prove I'm not. 
You have to judge me based on how you've dealt with me. I don't give a fuck whether people who have never met me and never spoken to me think I'm some kind of knob. I'm not interested. I'm just not interested. However, if you have met me and spoken to me and you come to that conclusion, I'd be interested to find out why. A load of people I went to school with 25 years ago, again, who I've not spoken to in over, you know, nearly a quarter of a century over in some cases, also jumped on the bandwagon with this friend because they're engaging with it. They sort of live in that small community in that area, never really left the area, never really left the town. Um, and they see this person all the time. So presumably they just decided that why on earth would she want to go after somebody unless she had just cause to? Well, she hasn't, she did, and I can't do much about it other than to say, please stop judging people based on what you hear. Judge people based on your experience of them. And that's all I have to ask. Thank you and good night.